Hi everyone, this is Evo at the Velvet Overlook Recording Studios in Tilburg, and welcome to the second installment of Detouch Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to guide you through setting up macros in Detouch. If you look at the lower left hand side of the screen, you'll see a grey empty button in the macro area. Just press and hold that one and the macro editor will appear. As you can see, I already have quite a few macros set up. You can scroll through them using the scroll buttons, and if you want to add a new one, just click Add New. Now for this example, we're going to create a macro to show and hide the memory locations window in Pro Tools. I'm going to name it Show Markers, and the button text is going to display just markers. If you notice your macro isn't running properly, try unchecking the Hide Detouch windows while the macro is running button. Now, since we want to make sure we're sending these commands to Pro Tools and not Detouch, it's good practice to start and end your macro with a Bring Pro Tools window to Foreground command. Just click Add on the right hand side to add that command. Now, the next command we're going to try is a keyboard shortcut. In case you don't know, hitting Command and 5 on the numeric keypad shows and hides the memory locations window. And this is what we're doing in this macro. So select Keyboard Shortcut as command type, tap the key combination box, and hit Command and 5 on your numeric keypad, and hit Add again. Now all we need to do is end the macro with another Bring Pro Tools window to foreground, and then it's a good idea to color code your buttons. So let's try a nice bright cyan. Once the macro is complete, you just hit save and then assign to button on your lower left hand side. The macro editor window will close and you see your macro has appeared on the button you selected. And there you go, you've made your first macro. It was quite easy, wasn't it? Once you've created these macros, you'll be able to use them in every session. In the next installment of Detouch Tips and Tricks, I'll show you how to make macro folders. See you next time.